Hey everybody, it's Erica and I am here with so much stuff to tell you and to show you. We have an hour today, so let's see if we can get through it all. All right, now this morning I did a Facebook Live with my team and we had quite the technical troubles. Hopefully today that will not happen. I've chosen a different network. All right, I see you guys jumping on. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Oh my gosh, you guys, it has been a crazy last like five days. Wow. Um, on stage, if you don't know, on stage is our demonstrator event that we have every six months. And it was this time, one of them was here in San Antonio. Um, so I was very excited. My friend Kay Cogbill from Little Rock, Arkansas, um, we planned an all day event the day before on stage. Um, it was open to um, demonstrators and of course our own teams. Many years ago, Kay and I started doing this demonstrator event for our well, it was just for our teams. And then other people wanted to come. So we started opening up. And every time we've done it, it's gotten bigger and bigger and bigger. And this time we had 140 people, which was incredible. 140, you guys, is a lot. <laughs> it's a lot of anything that you do. It's a lot of make and takes. It's a lot of little treats. It's a lot of space. It's just incredible how 140 is a lot, but it was a wonderful event. I'm just going to start showing you a whole bunch of stuff. I think I'm just, just going to have it all lined up and I'm just going to show you lots of stuff. Um, I have to be done by three o'clock today. I have to go pick my daughter up. So hopefully we'll get through it. Um, okay. So first of all, let me tell you about our event. We had these bags made. Aren't they cute? Um, you, to use the Stampin' Up! logo, you have to get special permission from Stampin' Up! So that's what we did, um, way back early March, maybe even in February, I um, worked with Stampin' Up! to get their, the logo approved on a bag. They wanted the bag to be a Stampin' Up! color, so of course we chose Melon Mambo. And so everybody came, they got bags, um, they had make and take. So the two classes I'm offering right now, the Beach Happy and the Tea Together, those were the make and takes that they got. Those are the projects that we did. Um, we made name tags with the stamps that we're gonna use today. Now my team had lots of treats there at our event. Um, my helper, Denise, she made these. You know, here in San Antonio, everything is, um, there's a very heavy uh, Mexican Im influence, Mexican candy, Mexican de decoration. So we kind of went with that. And she got some Mexican candy. And you remember this stamp set, that one that had the llama, so cute. She used that. Um, Heather made these. So these, we had these at the table. And let's see what else I had. Um, Alessandra made buttons for our team. Aren't they cute? And then we had a cactus pen and the the little tag that I made is won't stay on anymore, but we had cactus pins. And then at the end of the day, we had cookies made for everybody. And 140 cookies is a lot, you guys. <laughs> but the the lady that I work with made a bunch of different Texas cookies. They're, you know, the beautiful little hand-painted cookies. And these are the two that I had these leftover, Blue Bonnet, which is our state flower, and a pepper. She also had the Alamo. There was um, a cowboy boot. Uh, there was a San Antonio skyline. They were beautiful. I have pictures loaded up on my blog to show you guys all of this. I just haven't had time to type it all up. Um, the We had guest stampers, and we had helpers, and we had people who did display stamping. And so I had my mom, I asked her if she would make these adorable little aprons for all of those who were our official helpers. And um, I had somebody made me one of these gosh, maybe seven or eight years ago. And I looked online, I couldn't find them anywhere. And so I begged and pleaded my mom, who is a full-time teacher. And she was, of course, like, absolutely, I'll do it. So she, I mailed her all the fabric, she made all the aprons. And then um, somebody that she knows in Memphis um, monogrammed them for us. So this was a special little gift for everybody who helped us pull off that wonderful event. Isn't it so cute? It has little pockets. And before you ask, no, my mom is not making them <laughs> and selling them. However, she just might in the future if we can convince her. She's retiring this year, so maybe. Okay, so that was all of that. Then 
I, I'm just going to show you all the treats and stuff that I got. Heather, who I mentioned made those cute little treats, she brought me this. Look, she had a cup made with my name on it. And this fun little card in these bright, beautiful colors. Heather lives in Colorado Springs, and she is on my team. And Heather is always super helpful and super thoughtful. Now, you guys, some of this has fallen apart in my bag, and I don't know where... I think this was on the bag. Yep, this was on the bag of the cup and I had to save it. Isn't it cute? She really made that flower work because I have had a hard time with that flower. Somebody gave me this, again, flowering desert. Oh, hey, good, Patty. I'm so glad you had fun. It was a fun day, wasn't it? Um, I can't, I cannot remember who, you guys, please forgive me for, people were giving me things and I was so busy and I just don't remember exactly who gave me everything, but look how cute these earrings are. Perfect, right? I love them. I'm going to make sure I set these aside so I can take them back to my room later on. And I love that on the pillow box. I got um, from Jason Moore, I got a little frame. It's a little like a six by six album. You could put your picture in it. Very cute. And he gave me a card too that had a deer stand. Do I have that card? Yes. So he's a guy, right? Obviously. And surrounded by all these women, but we were very impressed with his stamping and he made a deer stand in the trees for the hunting little feet print. I was just, I just thought that was so cute. So good job. Good job. Let's see. I got some of these which hold a little Ghirardelli. Yummy. Yum, yum. And then this was very cute. Somebody gave me this actually on stage. And let's see, it has the tag in it, Honey, Honey's Craft Room. And I love the way it opens. I think I'm gonna have to case this. We're gonna have to make something like this. Look at that little Ghirardelli, fits perfectly in there. Isn't that cute? So Honey, thank you very much. I'm gonna case it. This is from my downline Donna, who lives in Chicago. She brought me these yummy mint meltaways. I haven't opened them yet. You guys, I gotta get back on track. The sugar has taken over again, but those look delicious. Alessandra is my downline from California. Um, she was also one of my helpers and she brings me crazy generous gifts all the time. And she brought me this beautiful Kate Spade bag. And I was like, Alessandra, oh my gosh, it's so nice. So cute, right? I don't know. She has great taste. Brings me amazing things. Now this, you guys, is so cute. And I have been racking my brain for two days trying to remember who handed this to me. And I can't remember. But what they did is they put the little octopus on a shrinky dink and shrunk it. And it's like a little charm. It's so cute. So cute. So if you're watching and you made it for me, please tell me so I can give you credit and look inside. Mmm, Crabtree and Evelyn. Awesome, perfect size box for that. Let's see, here is something, it looks like it was made with the envelope punch board too. And look what's inside, more sugar. This is why you guys, I can't stay on track. I have so much sugar and yummy stuff in here. So cute with this, this is the share what you love paper. That came out last May and now it's going away. Here's something else made with a Share What You Love paper. And look, does it look familiar? We made one of these on Facebook Friday a few weeks ago with a little magnet. Love it. And I love the pink post-it notes. So cute. Um, here's one from Cindy. Uh, Cindy was with Patty. Her She brought several of her teammates and they came to our event and look at that. I have seen these at Bath and Body Works and I keep thinking, oh my gosh, they have a line called Gingham now and I need to get it. So thank you, Cindy, now I have some. And she made this really cool holder for it. And that's a lot of layers, Cindy, I'm pretty impressed. Look at all that, beautiful, thank you. Um, this card, look at this. Okay, this is going up, I have to make this. The colors are gorgeous. This is from Milani, Ma wait, Yes, I'm just reading it. I did read it. You know, you guys, I'm telling you, my brain. Isn't that beautiful? I love how vivid and bright those colors are. Wow, so pretty. Kathy, you had a good time. Kathy, you went Charlotte. Good, I'm glad you loved it. Yeah, on stage is so fun. All right, here's some cards that people gave me. Look at all of that. That's that floral 
Frosted, uh, frosted Florals that was in the holiday catalog. Very, very pretty by Gina. And then this is beautiful. This is from Antoinette. Antoinette is my downline from New York and she presented, um, did a little stamping presentation. So, so pretty. I love those colors. This one is from Christy Woodworth, monochromatic, very nice. And this one from Chris, look at that. Beautiful rainbow heart, I love it. And nice fussy cutting, look at that. Okay, so then, Lisa came from California and her downline, Deanna, makes these awesome glue holders. She makes these on her 3D printers. Look at this. And she made me several pink ones and they hold your glue. Isn't that clever? I love it. Very cool. Now this, you guys, I almost cried when I opened this. Um, Judy handed me this and I didn't even open it until I got home. So Judy, if you're watching, we need to have a conversation because you really know me very, very well. First off, the card is precious. And then look at this. It is a Buffalo check bunny. And if you know anything about me, you know I love Buffalo check and I have two bunnies. So this is super, super, super cute, Judy. I thought, like I almost got teary-eyed over this. I loved it so much. And she brought me some delicious apple butter, which reminds me of that project we did. And then look at this. I've never heard of this company, company Simply Charming. And it has this cute little bracelet. And then there are these charms in here. Okay, look, a Baylor one. That's where I graduated from. Then the turquoise one, which totally, I gotta turn my hand, let's see. I'm gonna snap that one. You just snap them in. Look, it matches my ring. Awesome. And then this one has my initials. So, wow. I mean, this one really, this was so nice of you, Judy. And these gorgeous earrings, those are very me. So very, very nice. I hadn't even taken it out of the box yet because I wanted to make sure I, I showed it and, and said a public thank you because that was very, very, very sweet of you. All right, let's see what else. Gina from Arizona. She always sends me good, delicious candles. Gold Canyon. Mm, that one is, ooh, that one's good. I like the size of these candles, Gina. I like them because, you know, sometimes when you get a giant candle, you, you know, it takes forever to burn it. Okay, I can't get that off right now. Ooh, pineapple cilantro, hello. That sounds amazing. And look at her beautiful card, so cute. Look at your fuzzy cutting too, Gina, nice. Very nice, you guys. Okay, now this one came from Lisa. This is, Lisa is my downline. Let's see if I can take this out. Lisa is my downline who lives in California. And I met her when she lived here in San Antonio. And um, she moved back from where she was from and I was super sad. So I was very excited that she came back for on stage. But she made this, you guys have kind of, I'm sure you've seen these online. Um, hers is different than anything I've seen. She made, so it's my last name, and then a little thing to change every month for the for whatever month it is. There's February and March and April. Guys, did you see the Jar of Love is retiring? Oh my gosh, I'm so sad. And this one too, the apron. I can't believe it. And then we've got July, August, September, that's my birthday month, October, November, and December. So stinking cute. And she brought, she even brought the frame. Look, it has this beautiful frame all the way from California. She brought me one and somebody else one, and they didn't break. Isn't that beautiful? Thank you, Lisa. I love it so very much. Okay, let's see. Let me get, I've got jars and candles. I don't want to break anything. Let me make room because I have more stuff. Um, let's see. You guys, <laughs> just so you know, I have unpacked all my Stampin' Up! stuff, but I have not unpacked my suitcase. I have got to get to that. <laughs> my parents are coming in town tomorrow evening, so I've got to get my house put back in together. It's a mess. I'm a mess. Everything is a mess. Okay, that's what happens when mama takes five days off. This was the bag we got at On Stage. It's very pretty. It's embroidered with these beautiful leaf patterns. This is the one of our new colors. Pretty peacock, I think. I'm gonna show you the new colors in a little while too. 
if we can get to that. I'm trying to take everything out so I can show you. Got lots of goodies. Oh my gosh, I forgot about this. I need to, I said I had unpacked, but I guess I really hadn't. Okay, first off, first and foremost, ta-da! There is our new catalog. Isn't it beautiful? These products right here I have already in my hot little hand. Love both of them. Um, the new catalog, I can't or even order the new catalogs, you guys, until May 2nd. Then they will come to me and it will take me at least a week to get them prepped and mailed out. So those of you who are wanting a new catalog, I'm saying mid-May-ish, okay? Um, I ship all my catalogs directly from my house so that they get to you faster. Um, because if I do it straight from Stampin' Up, sometimes it takes a long time. But more details will be coming about that, okay? So just know I will have them, I promise. We got these fun little um, folders, which I haven't even opened, and that's one of our new stamps. A really, really cute stamp set. We had a little clipboard waiting for us, and on here it was, and honestly, okay, so the weirdest thing happened, you guys. So Saturday morning, I get there and I'm getting this alert on my phone that there's a tornado warning for Holotus, which is, we just we live right outside the city limits in um, like a suburb. So it was about 30 minutes from downtown where we were. Well, this severe weather was coming through and in my neighborhood, there was a tornado warning and people are posting, I'm seeing things on Facebook that there's golf ball size hail, baseball size hail, all of this. So for the first two hours of on stage, I had a really hard time focusing. <laughs> I was in and out on the phone with my daughter, with my husband. Luckily, everything was fine. All of my family was actually gone. My daughter had a solar cars competition um, on the other side of town. Another daughter was away on a retreat. And then my high school daughter was at the high school, which is about, I don't know, just a few miles from us. And so I was mostly concerned about her. Um, when I finally got her on the phone, she was taking a test, so I couldn't even talk to her. By the time I got her on the phone, she was like, what? What's going on? I don't even know. She like didn't hear any of it. It was a huge hailstorm. So the first two hours, I didn't even take this off my clipboard and because other people were having fun meeting people and I was sweating it out on the phone outside. So, But this cute little thing was kind of um, a way to get to know your fellow demonstrators. It was a mingle bingo, find someone, you know, different little scenarios, make connections, um, and then just little table games. I thought that was fun, just kind of little activities to get to meet people um, that we're sitting at your table. Kind of an icebreaker, really. Um, let's, oh, whoops, I have two of those clipboards. Whoops, I have somebody's. Okay, here's our journal. I always love our journals, you guys. Um, I was just working on my to-do list, and this one, look at this. This was from several years ago, and this is how I plan all my stuff and make all my notes, and I am down to like the last few pages, three pages left, and so I was hoping it would be a really good journal, and it is. It has um, a thing at the top, you know, a spiral at the top, so you can flip like this, and it has a lot of room to write, so cute, right? I use these. This is how I do my planning. All right, so let's see, what do I wanna show you? Oh, the night before we had Center Stage, which is for um, Stampin' Up! Leaders, you have to qualify, you have to be a uh, Silvery Leader above, and we always get a gift. So our gift was this beautiful leather bag, and inside is a punch. This is the Timeless Label Punch. Isn't that cute? I foresee a ton of use in the future on that one, for sure. All right, our make and takes, here's the birds, and I'll show you this paper and the stamp set. So, so cute. This one, and I don't know the names of any of it, you guys. <laughs> I don't know the names of any of it yet. So this is the Monet-inspired designer series paper. Kind of looks like Monet's, water lilies. Um, this is some colored vellum. And then this is the too bad I don't know the names. The new, it's a, a nautical um, set. And the paper is like um, vintage nautical, which is really, really cool. And look at these little embellishments. This was my favorite. 
Um, it's all crafting stuff. The paper has a hot glue gun on it somewhere. There, the stamps are ribbon and a stamp and a little inker bottle. There's framelits, one that has a, um, a paper clip. They're cute, they're very cute. And I have them and I'll show you. Now this is a sneak peek of an upcoming paper pumpkin. The May paper pumpkin was designed by Shelly Gardner who is our co-founder of Stampin' Up! And it coordinates with the birds. It's very earthy. There's um, like um, bird's nest and feathers and that kind of thing. So that's the paper pumpkin. And I didn't get a chance to stamp. That's why it doesn't have a stamp there. Um, but anyway, if you're interested and that looks like something that you would like, you've got to make sure to sign up for June's paper pumpkin. Look at the envelope. Very fancy. Very, very fancy. All right, so those were our five make and takes. Um, what else? Um, one of the giveaways, I got this paper, the mosaic paper, which again, you guys, I got my pre-order this morning and I plan to show you all of it. We probably won't get all of it done today, but I'm gonna be live again tomorrow, okay? So I will go into more detail with that. Um, we all got this new Daisy stamp set and we're gonna have a new Daisy punch. We still, we're gonna have the same big one that we've had, but now there's gonna be a little Daisy to go along with it. Very, very cute. And then this was Prize Patrol. This wasn't the original one that I won, um, but I, the one that I won I liked, but I loved this one because look, little bunnies, they look just like my buns. And my friend Terry, she traded with me. She knew I wanted it. And she said she probably wouldn't use this one. So we traded. I was so happy. So look, little buns. It's called Wildly Happy. We've got a, a little baby fox and a baby panda and a baby elephant. So cute. Um, okay, I think that is all in my bag. We had the product purchase premiere. We got to order, if we attended on stage, we got to order early. It's one of the perks of attending on stage. Okay, one more thing I'm gonna tell you and then I'm gonna show you, we're gonna stamp. There is this product coming out on May 1st called Everything is Rosy. My downline, Anne Marie, got her hot little hands on it way early um, because she did the presentation at on stage, and the stuff that she came up with is absolutely gorgeous. Here's one of the things that we got. She had an event that we went to, and she gave us all um, a little treat using it. Now, everything is rosy. Is they're calling it a product melody or medley? Product medley, <laughs> um, and it's going to be like an open-ended kit, basically. It's gonna have all this stuff in it, but no specific projects. It's for those of you that love product and you love to just make stuff, and you don't want anybody telling you what to make, you wanna make your own things. That's what this is gonna be. It has some six by six paper, um, a paper stack, you know, a designer series paper stack, and one side has rose gold, accents on it. It has several sheets of rose gold foil. There's a stamp set and a framelit, matching framelits. There are um, these little die cut pieces. There's a bolt of amazing ribbon, uh, Melon Mambo ribbon, a bolt of Knight of Navy ribbon. There is, oh, shimmer paint, um, rose gold shimmer paint. So, Here's the deal on this. Everybody gets to order beginning May 1st. I don't get early access to it, so I won't have anything ahead of time to show you. I can order it the same day you can. Um, you can only order it as a one, as a kit, as a medley, okay? And it's $80. It has a ton of stuff in it. I will get it May 1st and then have it to show you. But they're telling us they've used very clear language. This will sell out, okay? So I will have some more photos and stuff to share with you in the weeks to come so you can decide if you want it. Because if you want it, I strongly recommend you doing it in the first couple of days, okay? Um, I can't wait to get it. 
I wish that it was something that was going to be in the annual catalog so I could use it over and over and over again with you guys. But it's only going to be available in May and only available until it sells out or until May 31st, okay? So that is something that's coming while we wait for the new catalog to come out, something to tide us over. Okay, I think we're ready to stamp. And if we have time when we're done, I am gonna pull out some product to show you, so don't leave, okay? Now this week, you guys, Facebook Live, different schedule. Um, my parents are coming for the Easter weekend tomorrow. Um, so, I am taking Thursday and Friday to go house hunting with them. They're actually moving here. Um, so we're gonna spend all Thursday and Friday house hunting and I will not be doing a Facebook Live on Friday. My kids are also home on Friday, so that would have just been a, a mess. But, um, so tomorrow is my second Facebook Live and it's gonna be a little bit different than my normal Facebook Friday. Usually I do three projects. Tomorrow I'm just gonna do two. And we're gonna just really spend some time with the retiring in colors, okay? And I've got some really great projects planned. So tomorrow, same time as today, two o'clock central, but over on my Pink Buckaroo Stampers group. So make sure you've joined that group over there so you can join me live tomorrow. And I'll show you, if I don't show you all the product today, hopefully we'll get it done tomorrow, okay? Okay, so these sweet treat Nope, I always say it wrong. Sweet cups. These are in the catalog, the occasions catalog, and they look like this, and I have loved them dearly. However, I have not used them because most of my things go out in the mail, and I can't mail this um, in an envelope. Can you imagine? <laughs> I almost... I almost thought about mailing one to my girlfriend who lives in Michigan to see what it would look like when it arrived um, because I really would have used the heck out of these if I um, was doing more local things. So I didn't think I would have time really to make anything for my team because I had so many here um, and my assistant, Denise, I'm gonna just call you my assistant from now on because that's what you are. She's helping me. She's like my right-hand man. She's amazing. And she was here and I said, I just, she was talking about maybe something she was gonna make for our team. And I said, I'm just not gonna have time. And she said, well, why don't you just get those sweet cups? And I'll go get some of the Mexican cookies from the bakery down by my mom's house. And I thought, well, okay, that, that could work. Well, then I became totally obsessed, of course. I couldn't keep it simple. And for days and days, it's all I could think about. And this is what I came up with. Um, I wanted to use the Flowering Desert stamp set, of course, because we're in the South. We have a lot of cactus. Now, we don't have that kind of cactus, but we have cactus. Um, and look at the sentiment, friends make the good times better. Isn't that the perfect sentiment to give to your teammates, your friends when you're at a Stamping Up event? I think so. Um, even like a wedding favor, this would make a great wedding favor. Um, that is from Waterfront, the Waterfront stamp set, which I'll show you in a minute. So anyways, this is what I came up with and I had made it originally without this on it. And I was like, oh, I hadn't added anything else. And I thought, eh, it's kind of boring. So I went over and did a search for a sweet, uh, I say it wrong every time, treat, sweet cups. <laughs> They're called sweet cups. Um, and I found a girl who did this on hers. And guys, I'm sorry, I'm drawing a blank, but I did link over on my blog today over to her so you can see her original design. And that's how I found out what these are and how to use them, okay? Uh, so then I decided to make it a shaker. Um, I had, I thought that maybe if these sweet cups um, carried over into the new catalog, which unfortunately they are not, it would be really neat to put a flower, like a 3D flower or a succulent or something under that. But anyways, for those of you who are gonna use them in the future, that might be a good idea. Okay, so inside, let me show you, these are the Mexican cookies from the bakery. They were. There, that one's my favorite, the one with the sprinkles. They were so good. Um, thank you, Denise, for helping me not lose any weight at all over the last two weeks. <laughs> all right, let's make this, okay? Now, there is, let's, let's do the stamping first. I'm gonna tell you, there's a lot of little things that I need to tell you. Now, first off, where did my circle go? I had a circle here, and now it's gone. Um, first off, there is a template that you're gonna need. Well, it's gone, okay. I think I've got another one over here. There's a template that you're gonna need. Oh, it's sitting right here. I just didn't bring it over. There's a template you're gonna need that looks like this. And um, our 
wonderful DDM Chad Williams um, uploaded this over on our demo planning page. And so I have linked, I've downloaded it and, and linked it for you over my blog too. So you're gonna need to print that out. One word of caution is make sure you print it at 100%. The first time I printed it, I cut it out, I traced it on my paper, I cut the paper out, and then I went and it was way too small. So hopefully this is the right one. I'm pretty sure it is. <laughs> I cut 50 of these out, yeah, see, and it wraps around just like that. And I realized the first time it printed for some odd reason at 90%, so it was too small, it didn't meet in the end, so then I had to do it all over again. I was not happy. Um, so let's do our stamping first, okay? So Flowering Desert is what I'm using. And I am using, here's Flowering Desert, it's in the Occasions catalog. I'm super, super sad that it is not gonna be in the new catalog, so if you want it, you better get it before the end of May. Um, I have, I use this for everything I did for on stage. I, I just have fallen madly in love with this stamp set. Um, okay, so stitch circle, the largest stitch circle. My original ones just have a regular circle, but I had this already cut out, so I was like, hey, we're gonna use this. They're the same size. Uh, Granny Apple Green for our large cactus. And then Garden Green for our little, I'm sure somebody knows what this is. What is it, you guys, tell me. I'm gonna stamp once in Garden Green and then over again on the side so it's kind of light. And then I can tell my Granny Apple Green has been re-inked. Look, see the difference, see how light it is? It was, it was needing it by the time I stamped so many of those. All right, then let's do the little flowers. And I don't know if this is really where flowers grow on these kind of cactus, but who cares, it's cute. So don't tell me that's not the right flowers for the right cactus, because I don't care, it's cute. <laughs> All right, Melon Mambo. Then I decided it needed another flower, and I know, again, not probably not the right flower, but who cares? It's cute. This is one of our Biddy um, Blossoms. One of our Biddy Blossom punches that's in the occasions. Those are not, um, those are not carrying over either. They're retiring. You guys are gonna hear me say that phrase about a thousand times between now and the end of May. I'm gonna tell you, you better get it. It's retiring, you better get it. Over the next few weeks, I'm really gonna spend some time focusing on, you know what? Look, I didn't even stamp it. I added that. Y'all are probably like, you yeah, ding dong. That's okay, because I did put the flowers on there on another project. But hey, we can never have enough flowers. Okay, now here is a basic pearl and my lovely lipstick stamp and blend. I'm just gonna color it so it looks melon mambo-ish. I actually used a lot of different pearls um, before I realized I could just do this. I don't know why I didn't do this to begin with. So they all were kind of different colors. All right, so there we go. We've got that. Then a linen thread bow. I know, Carrie, I'm sad it's not in the new book too. This was one I really felt like it was gonna definitely carry over, but there's a lot of amazing things in the new catalog. They told us they tried to make the catalog a little slimmer this time. Um, so they really had to cut out quite a bit. Um, by the way, you guys, you need to make sure that you look at the list of, on the retiring list, they have things listed as retiring that are coming back as cling stamp. So you need to make sure you check the list I posted yesterday and kind of go through, um, because many of, we're getting rid, rid of wood mount and clear mount and anything in red rubber will come as cling mount only. Um, that's where it's stickier on the back. So you need to look at that list because some of them look like they're gonna retire, but they're just actually reconfiguring. All right, now this is a granny apple green circle that we do not have a framelit this big. So I just traced them and cut them out 
or you can use something else you have. It's okay if we don't have it. If you don't have anything that size, just trace it and cut it out. All right, no worries. Or use your whatever. I know you guys have other things at home. Okay, now this is what the dome is. Can you guys tell? It's one of those Christmas ornaments. You know, you get the two halves and you put them together at Christmas time, you make an ornament. Sometimes people do a little scene and then glue it onto paper and it's an ornament. That's all it is. And they are very cheap. I have linked you on my blog right now over to Amazon where you can find these. Um, they come in a variety of sizes. I have linked you to the correct size. And I also put in words, in case you wanna order them somewhere else, I think it was like 80 millimeter, I don't know. I wrote it down there on my blog so you can see exactly what size it is, okay? Now this little hook we wanna get rid of, so you just pop it off, it just breaks right off. Then, and this was the part that I just, I don't know, I wish there was a better way. Now see, it fits perfectly, but it's just gonna come right off. So, I took my glue gun and just did, you guys know how messy hot glue is. So I didn't like that, but hopefully, oops, I forgot to put the sprinkles. Okay, let's see if I can do this real quick before it dries. I put some of the iridescent sprinkles, the sequins in there, and then put the lid down like that. Okay, so now, Hopefully, yeah, glued down now. See, you've got a shaker. And I actually went and tried to find some different um, sequin things, but those were the ones I liked the best. So that's what I used. Oops, sorry, shook the camera. Okay, <laughs> really, Amy? Yeah, you know, everybody's asking me what those were, and we even got, somebody got a snack. Oh, it was a dessert at center stage that had a dome top and she was like, is this it? Would this work? And it was too big, but I was laughing. Yeah, I know. And and again, it was not my original idea, but isn't it awesome? All right, so now we're gonna take, this is a three quarter inch by six inch piece of Melon Mambo Brights from the Brights stack. And I'm just gonna adhere it end over end so that it's long enough to put around here, and I like to kind of start in the middle, whoops. And you could do ribbon. I found the ribbon I couldn't get straight because that's what I tried first, but the paper seemed to really want to behave a little bit better. Okay, there's that. Now for this part. You're gonna want to print the template and um, remember, 100% printed in 100%. I wanted to use the Tropical Escape Designer Series paper because the colors were right. Um, these were the colors I wanted to use. But as you can see, one six by six piece is too small, so we're just gonna make a six by about 11 and a half <laughs> inches. And then we're gonna trace it. Let me get a marker. And I recommend that you trace it on the back so that any of your funky little lines that you maybe, you know, don't cut right will be on the back. All right, so there's that. And now we're just gonna cut it. And I try to cut within that line anyway. The ruched ribbon would work well, yes, so yeah, mm-hmm. It would not hold well enough. Donna, I'm trying to see, would the fine tip glue stampin' up? Okay, so you're asking about the glue on the lid. I tried Tombow, would not, it would not hold, it came off. So it was hot glue. Yeah, hot glue or bust. Maybe there's some other amazing adhesive, but for me, it was the hot glue. All right, now for this, I found, where's my cup? I found that I needed to start in the middle so that I could meet correctly in the end, okay? So I'm gonna do that one, and then I'm gonna roll this one 
like that. Perfect, look at that. And ta-da! You guys, you need to get these sweet cups before they're gone. They are awesome. I need to put a little more adhesive there. They, I mean, the, the possibilities really are endless, especially with the dome top. I mean, just think. Wouldn't like a little succulent, like a 3D little flower in there, wouldn't that be super cute? Yeah, I know. It's so cute. And I got tons of questions. So hopefully that answers them. I used several patterns. I didn't actually use this one because um, I wanted more solid, a solid green, but I didn't have any more of the other ones that I used. So I used that, that pattern and that pattern and that pattern. Super cute. So what do you guys think? Are you going to make it? You need to order those little half things. You know, you could, you know, you could order these sweet cups now save them for Christmas and then you could make this like a snow globe you could put that little fake snow in there and stamp a little snowy scene hello that would be super cute okay I'm ordering some yep I'm ordering some okay so that is that now you guys what time is it oh we have 20 minutes okay we are good I can still show you some more stuff let me make room um let's so no Facebook Friday t this week. However, I'm still offering the projects I'm making tomorrow for free with any orders this week um, until Monday at midnight. I always cut on Tuesdays. So if you want to order some sweet cups or you want to order anything on that retired list, use the host code and I will send you those make and takes next week. Now, if your order is over $150, don't use the host code because you're going to get stamp and rewards. You're going to get free stuff. You know, over $150, the higher you go, the more free stuff you get. Um, and I will still send you the make and takes for free, of course, if I see that you've put in an order by Monday at midnight that is over $150. So don't worry about that. By the way, I didn't mention, I did, Waterfront. That's where that stamp set or that sentiment is from. And I do believe this is carrying over. Who can tell me? Is it in the new catalog? I think it is, but now I'm double, I'm second guessing myself. I don't know. Okay, are you guys ready to see the in colors and how they compare to other colors? And look what I'm drinking, you guys, I got bad again. Diet Coke, it always finds its way back, always. Okay, now we've got five new gorgeous in colors they are different than last year you know last year's colors were bright we had um the lipstick the blueberry bushel you know it was like a like rainbow um crayons um so this year they're more jewel toned really i guess that's the right word and i'm gonna go through and show you each color this is purple posy very light when i first looked at it i thought highland heather so behind it is Highland Heather. No, no. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Look how beautiful those two go together. It makes Highland Heather look very dark. So Purple Posy, Highland Heather. Charlie has to say hi. Highland Heather and then Gorgeous Grape. So now we have a third purple in our repertoire for these this beautiful color scheme. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I used to not be a purple person until we got these two. And now this just seals the deal for me for sure all right the next one is terracotta tile and i i couldn't really decide because in the catalog it looks a little reddish pinkish like i couldn't tell but when i pulled this out of my um box this morning i really thought calypso coral it it is definitely calypso coral-esque but you'll see it is a darker here it is terracotta tile next to Calypso Coral. See that? Now those of you with a really good eye, you'll be able to tell me that that's more red. Is there more red in that? Um, here's Calypso Coral. Here's Terracotta Tile. They go very well together. And then here is, what is it called? Gorgeous Grapefruit. Gorgeous <laughs> Grapefruit Grove. You guys, I have not recovered. I feel like I have, I feel like I have, um, from the weekend, I feel like I have, uh, you know, uh, when you travel, um, jet lag. I don't know. I just cannot get it together. 
Grapefruit Grove, Calypso Coral, Terracotta Tile, and then here, for good measure, Cajun Craze. Very nice. I like them all together. Very nice, okay? So that's the second one, Terracotta Tile. Now this one was the one I was very curious to. Seaside Spray. So that could be a turquoise -y, that could be a green, but no, it's a very soft blue with what I think is purple undertones, okay? So here it is. Very light blue, looks baby blue to me. But then when you put it next to Bashful Blue, ba what did I just call that, Bashful Blue? Balmy Blue, that's in our, that's our core color. Stampers Hangover, Shannon, yes, because that's exactly what I feel like for days now. Balmy Blue, um, Seaside Spray. Can you see how, when it's by itself, it looks like, okay, a light blue. But then when I put it next to that, it looks more purpley, I think. And then pool party. Pool party is like in a totally different category, not even the same. So these are the ones that are, that would be close. Okay, let's look at it with that new purpley color. They go well together, don't they? Very nice. All right, let's see what else we got. Now this one, pretty peacock. And we all were like, oh no, I did not just do that messed up my stickers that's all right i'll fix them uh pretty peacock i thought this was going to be more of a i don't know a blue purpley but look it looks kind of greenish kind of and i think that's the color on the catalog let me pull that catalog back over i think that's that color right there right and then that's maybe that color pretty peacock so i was thinking oh that looks just like trinkle tide which is going away so let's compare it because guess what? It is not. Now, wait, that's Tranquil Tide right there. So this is the new Pretty Peacock and this is Tranquil Tide. Tranquil Tide is much greener than this one. And then I know, Mary, I'm dating myself. I think Bashful Blue was before me actually. I mean, that's one of those ones people always talk about. And then this is Bermuda Bay. Goodness gracious, I need to label my things because I can't even think straight. Okay, so you see how dark that is? That's a dark, dark color. That's really, really pretty and really dark compared to Tranquil Tide and Bermuda Bay. Hmm. That is gonna be interesting, I don't know. That, I don't know. And then I'm looking at the second guessing myself. No, that's right. Tranquil Tide and Pretty Peacock. Hmm. My eyes are going cross. Okay, now here's the last one. This is the one I was the most excited about. Rococo Rose, which I don't know the name. I don't know the history of that name. Um, but when you search Rococo, it's like a type of, of fabric or a pattern or something. But it's kind of um, vintage-y. It has a vintage feel. When I pulled it out, I immediately thought Regal Rose. But no, I think it's much dustier than that. It's like a dusty rose. So I think I had some things like this in the 80s. It reminds me of some things I wore in the 80s. Um, so here's Rococo Rose compared to Blushing Bride. Very nice, very nice together. Compared to um, Petal Pink, it makes it look more like Sugar Plum, Sweet Sugar Plum, so it looks more purpley, okay? Oh, Kathy, you lost the video. Come back and then watch the replay, okay? And then here's Flirty Flamingo. So you can see, whoa, totally different, totally different. So it's more of a dusty, purpley pink. It goes well with Blushing Bride. Very good. And it goes really well with that color we're losing too. Um, well, I don't know. My brain's not working, but you guys know the pink that we're losing. Okay, so let's look at them together. Rococo Rose. Ah, I have to cheat. Pretty Peacock. Okay, these two look good together. Mm, well, maybe not. I don't know. Um, what's this one? Who knows? We should take a test. Um, purple Posy, Terracotta Tile, and Soft Seaside Spray. Seaside Spray. So there they are. Interesting, right? Very interesting. Um, I don't know. They're different. They're not brights, and I gravitate towards the brights. And every year I always think, oh, powder pink. Yes, Amy, that's the one leaving us. Thank you. Um, Every year I look at the new in colors, except for last year. I love them immediately. But every year I look at the in colors and I think, meh, 
all right, it's all right. But then I fall in love with them. So I am sure I fall in love with them. And the ones that I absolutely love right off the bat is this one. Oh, I don't know. I think I'm going to use that quite a bit too because I love pink. But anyways, that's the new, those are the new in colors coming in June. June 3rd is when the catalog goes live. Now let me pull out a few other things to show you. Oh, how do I want to do this? I have so much to show you, but I think I'm going to save some for tomorrow also. I ordered everything I could order from the pre-order because I can't, I have no self-control, especially when it comes to this stuff. Let's see. Hold on. I'm grabbing it. I'm trying to decide what I want to show you guys. All right. Take a look at this. This is that new cute paper that I told you had the hot glue gun. And let me grab all the goodies that go with it. I guess I should have been more organized and gotten all of this together. I mean, it's all in the same box, but it's all mushed together. Okay. This was my favorite thing in our pre-order. It's called It Starts With Art Ribbon. Look, only stamping up people would know what that is, right? A <laughs> re-inker. Buttons, you paint my world with happiness. Follow your art. Oh, I have three girls, three daughters who are artists, so I will probably use that a ton. Let's stay up late and craft. Um, you make everything sparkle. And then the fun little pens. And that, real pretty. Let's look at the paper first, and then I'll show you the framelits. So look, all these little tools, art tools. My mom will love this too. I don't know if my mom is watching today. Yeah, Barbara, zero self-control, zero. Luckily, I had a bunch of reward um, things from Celebration. This one's really pretty too. It's those, those marker, I don't know, markers and pencils, and then just kind of like a little pattern on the back. This is the one I love. Look, little hot glue guns. How cute. I love it. Very cute. And then we've got kind of a, that's probably Coastal Cabana. Here's another pattern with the ribbons. And then scissors on the back. Then this one, the paper clips and the stripe looks like maybe fresh curry. And then this one, boy, I feel like we're back in the 90s or the 80s. That feels very 90s and then a good little pattern. Okay, so those are the papers. Now, you heard about our um, change in die cutting, right? We're gonna have a new machine at some point. We don't know when, but it's coming. And with that change came new dies. You guys, the word is die, not the previous word and it's gonna take me about five years to get used to it. So we have these new dies. Also, do you notice the size of that, that envelope that it came in? Let me show you, let me compare it to, here's one of our current ones. Look, it's different, it's a different plastic, it's different, and I do believe they told us that it was designed to fit in our stamp case. So let's test it. Let's see. <gasps> Look at that. So now you can keep your stamps and your framelits in your case. Mm, they're pretty smart. Um, now there are some changes, some other changes also to our framelits. They're oh, to our dies. I need like a little like a little buzzer that buzzes me every time I say the wrong word. Um, you probably won't notice. A difference but they're going to be made of thinner metal and they have a little lip on the inside of the cutting edge and another thing they told us they have changed the adhesive here on the card so that it's not so hard to get your dies off you know sometimes it's really hard to get them off um, with these the old ones but these are the dies this one is really cute it's ribbon and this part right here is so that you can layer it underneath and it looks like it's, I don't know, it kind of looks like it's 3D. I think it's cute. Um, now there's also, did I not pull the embossing folder? Well, there's an embossing folder that has, here it is, an embossing, em, embossing folder, is that what I'm supposed to call it? Yes. <laughs> embossing folder. We're supposed to have new names. We gotta, we gotta learn the new names with the new, 
the new stuff. Um, this is just, it is, it does feel a little bit different. I wonder if you could put that in there too. Boy, you could just keep it all in there together and be super organized. Look at that. Huh. Very cool. Okay, so embossing folder, framelits, ah, dies. I'm never going to get used to it. Little buttons, any little paper clip. I like the paper clip. Okay, so there's that. Um, so when you get new, the new frame, new dies, um, they will look a little bit different, but they will still work in any die cut machine you have. Okay. Now this is the embellishment kit and I love the box I think the box would make a great little gift box. The embellishment kit has two different twines. It's got these little stitched felt embellishments and they just, you know, they're like, um, you just tear them out like that. And then some little, the little paper clips and look at the little trinkets. It says made with love. Those are precious. So, so cute. Okay, so that goes with that. Now, you got to see this, okay? This is probably the thing I was the most excited about. Look at this. It's a little Stampin' Up! brown box. How stinking cute is that? So it's made to look like what your Stampin' Up! orders come in. So I can just imagine this with all kinds of little fun stuff in it, right? Especially at the holidays or as a um, table gift just very cute and they come like this um, mini shipping boxes is what they're called so especially for us demonstrators we'll get a lot of use out of those very very cute okay I think I covered everything you know what I probably should look at my little flyer so that I don't forget anything that coordinates I need my helper here oh yeah 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 washi tape Look, this one says Stampin' Up! on it. So you could tape your little box together and then it would really look like a shipping box. Yes, um, th that's right. Andrea is exactly right. Thinner metal, but just as strong. I know, I worried about that too, honestly. But yeah, feeling them, they don't feel that different. I don't know. They're, so I don't think they're that different. Okay, let's see. Let's look at this. This is the Bird Ballad Designer Bird Ballad designer series paper and I have some framelits and I have oh I don't know what goes with this I should have been more organized and I have no idea what I did with here it is okay good now I'm gonna look in my pre-order I don't think I'm supposed to show you guys I think it it is considered a catalog all right so this is one of the make and takes that we made and if you look at these little birds they're so sweet. Look at their little faces. So sweet. Now the frame, ugh, the dies that <laughs> go with it don't necessarily cut out the birds, but they're stitched. What do they call them? Stitched nested labels. So it's another set of stitched labels, you guys. Um, and you know, I'm obsessed with anything that's stitched, stitched on both sides, like our rectangles. And you know what? These are thicker than the rectangles. If you have the rectangles, you know that they're a little persnickety. And even though I still use them a ton, but they are not as hardy as our stitch shapes, right? Um, but these feel like the stitch shapes. They're, they feel thick and like they're gonna cut really easily. There's a guy walking around the cul-de-sac so the dogs are making sure that they he knows that they are here. I don't know what this one, look, I guess it's just a stitch line. Ooh, I like it. All right, so then, so there's the stamp set. Paper, hand painted, look at it. Stunning. Polka dot, little birds. Oh, so those will be easy to fussy cut. There's no dye for them, but still beautiful. That's on the back, some flowers. Look how well that coordinates. That's what I just love about Stampin' Up! is that I know the colors are all gonna go together. Feathers, bird cages. More birds, more flowers. Yep, beautiful bird ballad. Now are, there are some embellishments that go with this. Really, really pretty embellishments. They're called bird ballad trinkets. I need to grab the other stuff so I can show you. Let me show you the trinkets. <laughs> Mary, sold, yeah. Anything that says stitched on it, that's how I feel. Sold, you said stitched, okay, sold. 
Um, DSP was colored with Stampin' Blends. Ooh, I didn't hear that, Amy. That's cool. All right, so these are the Bird Ballad Trinkets. Look how cute they are. There's a little key, and there's a little tiny bow. Very vintage feel. Very pretty. I will be using those a lot. I like that there's four di very different ones. I like that. All right, there is some new lace trim, very vanilla, right? Isn't it? Yep, very vanilla. Scalloped edge, that's another thing. Anything that's a scalloped edge, I'm immediately on board. And then this, make sure I have the right thing, Bird Ballot Laser Cut Cards and 10. It's a 10, like it's narrow, but this would make a great gift box. Um, in here, where are my scissors? In here, there are these really pretty note cards. So you could design the cards, stamp them, and then put them back in here and give, us, give it as a gift. Okay, so look, laser cut. So don't worry, it's not a die. You don't have to try to get that to die cut. It's already done for you. And so you can embellish it and do whatever you want with it. How many are in here? Let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And then some really cute scalloped edge envelopes. All right, so what time is it? Mm, I could probably go five more minutes. So that's the Bird Ballad suite of products. Oh, what do I wanna show you next? What do I wanna show you? One more thing, one more thing before I have to go pick up the youngest child she wanted me to come get her today. Suddenly, you know, 80 degrees is too hot for her. Poor baby, it's just so hot. She she has forgotten what summer feels like. Okay, so let's look at the nautical stuff. It is, I described it earlier today as vintage nautical. And it's called Come Sail Away. Okay, what else do I need? I need the little embellishments. Okay. All right, so come sail away. Don't you just want to sing it? Okay, so we've got the compass rose, right? Isn't that what that's called? Map. I love this, this piece. Vintage newspaper. Yes. Some, some knots. This one reminds me of like the wallpaper for a little boy's room. You know, when you did do like a nautical theme, maybe my brother had that, I don't know. Look at that. I don't know, this is totally different than the rest and I, I guess, I don't know really how it goes, but I love it. It's black, it's not blue, it's black and gray and it's probably my favorite pattern in here. Um, the thing I like about this paper, it doesn't have to necessarily be nautical themed projects that you're doing. You know, like a, just a green stripe that could be for any kind of masculine card. This one, that could be baby, that could be, I don't know. I mean, stripes are good for everything. And then, look at this. Mmm, love it. Kind of a linen um, stripe, navy and white stripe. All right, so that's the paper. The, the stamps, here they are. Um, now, we have a... Lighthouse stamp in our current annual catalog, but it is carrying over. So now we're gonna have two. So for those of you that are really into nautical stuff, you're gonna be very happy. You have lots to choose from. I feel like, and maybe I shouldn't say this yet, I feel like this is gonna be one of my first classes in the summer, but I don't know. Now that I've seen the other stuff, I don't know, it's gonna be hard for me to decide. Um, but anyway, here are all the stamps. And then again, the dies. They're gonna fit in there. We've got the lighthouse, look at this, this little stitched frame. I'm gonna use a ton of that, I'm sure. Ooh, look at the banner, a stitched banner. This one cuts out the sailboat. We've got a cute little wheel, a, uh, you know, for the ships. I have no words, words? Why are words escaping me today? This, I guess, goes on the, the little compass. That's cute, is there a compass stamp right there? I guess you can, oh, I see, so you can stamp it and then cut out the little thing. And there's a name for it, but I don't know. We've got an anchor. We've got an, let's see, another sailboat, so big and small. Some sea foliage, <laughs> seaweed. And then it looks like a rope. So those are awesome. Twine, 
You guys, the new catalog is very has very little Baker's Twine. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little sad. But this is one of the new ones. Night of Navy and Sahara Sand. That's a great twine. And it's kind of thick. Then, okay, i gotta, I got to hurry. i got to hurry. She's going to be mad at me if she has to walk a little bit in the... I don't even think it's 80 degrees today. Um, these are the embellishments, metal embellishments. There is an anchor and a wheel, and that is it. But they're called Sellaway Trinkets. They're super flat. I feel like they're really designed well for a card front. Very, very cute. Very, very cute. Now, real quick, where did my scissors? I keep losing my scissors. Let's open, there's some memory and more cards that go with this suite. So then that's just really gonna open it up big time for op, you know, possibilities with a suite. A Halloween pointed cap, ooh, ye good call, Sylvia, yeah. I love when we can find other uses for our, frame, uh, for our dies. I've only <laughs> accidentally said it like 10 times today. Okay, so happy Father's Day. These are the memory and more cards that you can use for, you know, scrapbooking or even just card fronts. Love that. Ooh, I love that. Love, love, love. Any day with you is the best. Oh, that's cute. You made my day. Date, place, and story. So some of them match the designer series paper. There are some in here, I think. Let's see. Let me open this one. I think they're kind of like die cuts. Oh, yeah, I can see them. So here are the bigger ones. And they, you get two of each. And each, they, you know, the sides are different. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. That's beautiful. Wow. Mm, I love this. The good life. Very nice. Remember. Oh, I feel something. Oh, love it. Look at that. Very cool. There's that one. Anchors away. Maybe I should scrapbook my Alaska pictures. World's greatest guy. That's super cute. Mm, an anchor and some rope. What is life but a grand adventure? Oh, somebody's at my door, and I don't know who it is. How is somebody at my door? The dog's in here. All right, lighthouse. I got to hurry. I got to hurry. Um, let's go somewhere and do something. There's that. The little die cut and then stickers. All right, you guys, I could go all day, but I really have to go pick up my daughter. Look at those. So make sure that you join my Facebook group and you join me tomorrow, same time, two o'clock central, but this time over on the group, okay? And I'll show you the rest of my pre-order and I've got two stamping projects for you tomorrow, okay, you guys? Thanks so much for joining me and I will talk to you tomorrow. Oh. I did say, right, May, uh, June 3rd for all of this. <laughs> yeah, June 3rd, customers can order. But you know what, you guys? If there's anything in here you want, you can get it in a starter kit in May. Mm, that's a very tempting offer, isn't it? Okay, we'll talk more about that tomorrow, you guys. Have a great afternoon. I will see you tomorrow. Thanks. Bye.